I just finished reading a new biography on Daniel Boone. Yes, I know. Now listen, I am a history geek, so I love that kind of stuff. Uh, copyright 2021, and it was interesting in the introduction, the author explained why he was using the term Indians uh, as opposed to you know indigenous peoples or Native Americans, which are the more politically correct terms. And I was thinking myself, you know what? Understanding the narrative of today, that our entire country is based on systemic racism, that everything we have, all of our wealth, everything is based on racism, on white privilege, on white guys, pretty much. And so I had that in the back of my mind as I read this. Now, let me quickly answer the question. Was Daniel Boone a racist? Was his success based on systemic racism or white supremacy? Uh, no. No and no, exclamation point. Let me make this clear. What drove him to success, and the reason we still know his name today, had nothing to do with that stuff. It was all about a personal desire, an individual drive, willing to risk everything simply to make a better life for his family. Now, he was born, his extended family was all east of the Smoky Mountains, the Appalachians, mainly in the North Carolina area. He is famous for founding the Cumberland Gap, which was an easier way to get through those rugged mountain ranges to discover Tennessee and Kentucky. Now realize, as he did that, there were no roads, okay? He didn't take, when he was hungry, didn't take a ramp off an exit to go to a McDonald's. Didn't find a Motel 6 when it was time to go to sleep. When he was wounded or hurt, there were no hospitals. He risked everything for this journey. Uh, there was no systems in place. There were no laws. There was no government then. This was all an individual desire and passion. And what he found was better gaming. You know, he was a hunter, businessman. He found better lands to farm and probably romanticized this some, but it was so beautiful and scenic for him. And it really is. He couldn't wait to bring his family west. That's what made him famous and successful. And so listen, to those of you who are believing this narrative about systemic racism, you were wrong. Let me make that clear. Go read some history. And for those of you, you know, I've watched this trend recently in America where more and more Americans are trusting and loving and placing their hope within big government to solve all the society problems and, and pave the way for their own success. Not going to happen, friends. The thing that made America great, the thing that will make you great, is for you and your own heart to be dissatisfied with less than the best and want more for your family and be willing to risk everything and to commit to work ethic and drive that will take you to success. That, my friend, is America.